we are so happy to have you here and to be part of the Yebunir program. This is our fourth year that we're part of the program. And it is, to, we can see, there is small but constant changes happening. And it's working. So, thank you for availing and your partnership with the school and the area. Um, MEC uh, Marex, of course, Minister MEC Marex is the MEC for Sports and Cultural Affairs here in the Western Cape. Just a few remarks from you, MEC. Thank you, thank you, and welcome again here. Yeah, um, our Year Beyond program is almost a few years that we're busy with this, and we look at the opportunities for the Yebonias as well as the children that they work with. And um, we're very proud of this program, and thank you for NY for the youth service, for um, the partnership, so that we can extend it more further. And we've had a program in the Eastern Cape as well. And I would like um, Jackie Bull, our director, if she can give just more info about the program. What you're gonna to see today is you're gonna see young people who were previously unemployed, who are giving service to their community while they're building their own skills. You're gonna see them addressing our reading crisis. Um, we've just seen the result of the latest poll study with 81% of learners who can't read for meaning. And what you're going to see is young people picking up the flag and saying, we need to do something about this. So that what they will be doing is reading with the children. They're reading with grade three and four learners because we know that that is a critical age. They are part of... 3,000 last year, young people who are doing this, and it will be 4,000 this, this year who are doing this in the Western and Eastern Cape. And the program has really grown from 1,000 that we used to be to this bigger number thanks to NYS. So it's a real partnership with NYS because the Western Cape government has also given funding. The young people work here every day. So thank you very much, Minister, for coming and for putting the spotlight on what is a critical national issue. No, no, I think colleagues have covered it, Minister. I think maybe just one of the things to add is that one of the positive things about this program is we see when young people participate in the service program, we're seeing at least 40 to 50 percent of them transition into 79 percent yeah, at the last count. Yeah, 80 percent <laughs> find jobs. Mainly because they have access to social networks. They start to meet people, they have more confidence in themselves, they have money to go for interviews. So maybe, Minister, just to explain how the program works is, is they do two kinds of reading, something called paired reading, where someone sits next to them and they try and read, and that's really being learning how to read the words and then understand, are there any words you don't understand and stuff. And then they do something called shared reading, where we read them a story and then we engage in some activities. a wonderful experience getting to know them, so many personalities and yeah, it's a really great experience. How long have you been doing for two months so far? Two months. Mm -hmm. Working with the kids actually brings a lot of excitement, mm -hmm. upliftment mm -hmm. and I like giving to others. It really owns my heart. And so it's not just six months. Okay, they stay for, they stay for the whole year. Till November. Mm -hmm. Why don't they continue? Is there a reason? So the program is designed as a bridging program. So they don't continue because in this year we will build their skills, but then they must either go and study or work. And they all get a mentor, so Natalie sitting over there is their mentor, and she works with them this year to make sure that at the end of the year they're ready to fly. And this program is exactly the same as running in the Eastern Cape, the year beyond, but then there are another 12 running across the country. 12 schools or 12 what? No, 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 12 programs. So this is one example of the youth service program. This is what we would say is, is learning and educational support. We also have programs in sports, arts, culture. I'm talking about this one, assisting okay. kids to read. So this one is in 53 schools in the Western Cape and 25 schools in the Eastern Cape. Okay. This year we hope to grow that to about 50 odd schools in the Eastern Cape. Okay.
where, where is the most challenge? Where, where is the biggest challenge of kids who can't read? Do we know? I'd say it's probably in the Quintana One schools, predominantly in townships and rural areas. What the research also shows, Minister, is, and that's why we saw the books on the table, is that 60% of children have no books in the home. And that is one of the factors that contributes to the crisis. So that's why they get the colouring in books to take home, because then they can read the story again with their parents, or read to their parents if their parents themselves can't read. And how have you found having young people in your school? Oh, that's why. That's why. Why? Because learners, the younger ones, they see younger people, they latch on. And that is the that is a nice thing. At the end of the year, each year, when they leave, there's a whole crying and because they get attached. And then when they are gone, they feel that. They they, they do miss. They do.